Hello and welcome to What Bite with uh, Apostle David Juma. I want to read to you something that will bless your life from the book of Psalms. Chapter 37, and we're going to read verse 37. The Bible says, Mark the blameless man and observe the upright, for the future of that man is peace. What an awesome word. That look at the person who the Bible calls blameless, somebody who has a relationship with God. There are not many people like that. There are not many people who are walking blameless. But there is a call from the word of God for us to walk blameless. And as you take stock of your day, take stock of what you have experienced and gone through, what a wonderful moment that you can bow your head and your heart and your soul before God and say, Lord, have I walked blameless today? Because the Bible encourages us that those who are blameless, their end shall be peace. Now, I like it when the Bible says, mark that man. Take note of him. Observe him. Because while we are trying to walk blameless before God, there are others who are trying to mess it up and try to attack us and try to speak against us and try to, you know, bring, to become channels of testings and trials so that we are so shaken until we are not sure whether we can walk blameless and holy before God. But the Bible says that those who are blameless, those who are walking with God, their end shall be peace. I like it when we are talking about the end. How will the story close? How will this act end? Where will we end up, those of us that are going through trials and fire and troubles and difficulties? The Bible declares over truth, the end shall be peace. And so I want to encourage you, no matter what you're going through, if you're trusting in God, if you're walking with God, if you're walking blameless before God, if you have a relationship with him, I want you to know end shall be peace. It shall be well. The Bible says, tell the righteous, it shall be well with them. It shall be okay. Tell the righteous. And so I'm telling you, by the spirit of the living God, no matter what's going on in your life, no matter what you have experienced, no matter what you have gone through, this day, if you are walking blameless and holy, that's a concept of being sanctified, being clean, being pure. You have the ability to say no to every ungodliness. And I'm calling upon you, my beloved, to have the grace and the courage to say no. In fact, the Bible says... Uh, that we should note every appearance of evil and keep off. There are some grounds we can walk. There are some songs we can sing. There are some places we can go. There are some things we can do if we're going to be blameless. And so today, by the grace of God, if your life is blameless, your end shall be peace. And I'm encouraging you that it shall be well. Take courage in God as you meditate on these words. And God bless you.